where we're at tonight. John's Gospel, chapter 9. And Jesus passed by, and he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Now, I'm not going to stay true to the, to the story because the scripture that popped in my mind was this fact. Whose fault? Whose fault? We're real quick to say, whose fault? Yep. Not me. Oh, no. I ain't had no, uh-uh. And so here's a young man that was born blind and the disciples themselves in the flesh saying, who sinned? His parents because he's blind? Or did the young man? Now, Jesus went on to tell him. He said, neither. Nobody sinned. No, neither hath man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. But we're real quick to say, whose fault is it? Huh? Some have, oh, well, we, we get all judgmental. We get all out there. We get all, you know, say so it's got to be somebody's fault. It can't be mine. I tell you tonight, somebody better take some ownership back here with me. Or we're not going to have this place much longer. Sister CJ can only bear the burden for so long. Now you can hear me and one day I'll be gone. And this place might be gone. And you might say, well, that was just a season. But we're going to sit there and, and somewhere the question is going to be posed. Who's fault? Whose fault? Whose fault was it that they got shut down? And how many is going to say, us? Oh. Because nobody wanted to take the fault when they were crucifying Jesus Christ. There was a mob when they said, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. They worked themselves up into an anger. And the man never done nothing but love him. We ain't done nothing but try to come back here and show Jesus. Have we been perfect? No. But we've done our best. But we're real quick to say whose fault? Whose fault? Sometimes like Jesus said, neither. Neither. But God allowed that man to be born blind for him to get the glory because God was going to work a work. And like I said, I'm not going to stay true to the story of the scripture because the question just popped in my mind, whose fault? And that's how the disciples were. They got angry with somebody uh, because the city wouldn't receive them. <coughs> Jesus sent them in. He said they wouldn't receive them. He said just to leave. And he said, you want us, the disciples said, you want us to pray fire down on them? Because the, the, the town wouldn't receive them. Jesus said, no. You don't know what spirit you're of. And like I said, two wrongs don't make a right. Amen. Us disobeying, us not listening, us acting like, you know, none of us, I don't own nothing on this property. None of us do. And the last thing I want to do is disrespect the business that is supportive of all of us coming back here. But whose fault is it going to be? The one that don't come back here but yet causes all the trouble? That's who. And it's going to be us when we don't take ownership and responsibility. Listen, the Bible is full of this because I know we are natured. Paul, Paul got shipwrecked. It almost cost them their lives. That was the 276 men. Y'all remember that story? They talked about the ship and how they wouldn't listen. And Paul said, well, maybe you'll listen to me now. Remember that message that we had a few weeks ago? Well, here after the ship crashed, they found themselves... On an island of Melita. And barbarians. The island was covered with barbarians. Well, Paul goes up. And I love it. He didn't try to just come up on somebody else's labor. They had a fire. And Paul just didn't mosey on up there and say, hey, you done all the work. I'm going to warm on your fire. No. Paul did this. And when the barbarians saw, oh, I'm sorry. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks. Acts chapter 28. Verse 3. Let the truck go by. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, Paul brought some. Are we bringing anything? 
Mm. Are we just always coming and expecting? Mm. Just, I deserve it, I expect it. Are you bringing anything in? He brought some sticks. He was adding to the fire. Hey, I need you to come and add to the fire. I need some support. I need some encouragement. I need some prayer. I need you to add to the fire. But he brought some sticks. And he did, and he went on. And when he went to lay them, it said a snake, a viper. A viper came out of the heat and fastened on his hand. Uh-oh, here you go. What's all of us going to look and say? What'd he do? He's guilty. Bible says, and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt this man is a murderer. Don't we do that? Judgment. Who, though he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth not for him to live. Just because a snake came out the fire? And don't you know that had to be the devil? What kind of snake in his right mind is going to be in a fire? They like warmth, but come on. And guess what? This is where Sister CJ needs to get to. He shook up the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Are y'all going to bring anything in? Are you going to bring anything in? Are you going to stop just expecting that we're going to show up and give out? Maybe you got a part to do. Maybe like this young lady come. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. And what she shared with me. And it, and it was private. But she brought something. I needed it in the hour. God sent what I needed. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because I was about ready. Like I said a few weeks ago, my honey had sent me a, a picture. And it said when I wanted to throw in the towel, God threw it back at me. He said, wipe your face. You're almost there. I wanted to throw the towel in again. Oh, I wanted to throw the sticks in again. But I need some help. But whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? We're so quick to judge. We don't want to take accountability and responsibility. It's always everybody else's fault. we got excuses out the yin-yang. But how about we get a mirror? I need, I need to have them donate some mirrors. I need some mirrors, Facebook people. And I want to pass them out to all of us. And say, right here, fix you first. And when you get good and fixed, then try to go fix somebody else. And I tell you what, you won't get done fixing you. I ain't never had no problem getting in anybody else's yard. Because I ain't got out of mine. It said, how can you look at the at the beam or, or the moat in your brother's eye when you got a beam in your eye? But whose fault is it? I need somebody to bring something to the table. I need somebody to bring something to the fire. I need somebody to just stop expecting that they're always going to get and start giving. I tell you what, you feel so much better when you give back. And you know what you do? In your way you do. Some of you do. But I want to encourage you, the rest of you too. How about we start coming and giving? You see that we need help. Some do help us if, we, if you're here in time. But we still got to eat and clean up, box up, load up, pick up. And that's where it all started with some trash. I need help with the trash, folks. I need a game plan. I need a game plan. I need somebody to help me. I don't want it to be whose fault is it? <laughs> whose fault? We need to take that. But I like what the young man said. Jesus come by. And he put the mud on his eyes. He prayed for him. And then the Pharisees had something to say about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always going to have your skeptics. But I like what the man said. He said he answered. He said, whether he be a sinner, because the Pharisees were saying he was a sinner because he healed on the Sabbath. He said, whether he be a sinner or no. He said, I know not. He said, but one thing I know, that where I was blind, now I see. A blind man born from birth and Jesus passes by his way. That man got to change of address, honey. <laughs> Woo! He said, I don't know who the man is, but one thing I do know is I was blind. But now, I see. Do you see what God's trying to show us tonight?
Do you see what God is trying to put in your heart and in your way? He's placed people to support you and encourage you, to defend you. I was blind, but now I see. Take it to the next level with him. Whose fault? Sometimes it's not anybody's fault. Life is life, I was told. 